Hey guys, so a typical Friday night here, obviously. The Switch is apart. Um, but uh, I, I had a few things I wanted to do to it. Mostly I wanted to plug my SD card reader in because, well, I forgot to plug it in last time, so I figure I should probably plug it back in since they're kind of required now. Um, that was just the other day. I usually leave it plugged in. But what's interesting to me is I had a question that I wanted to answer. I looked around and I couldn't find one. And uh, specifically, it was for the internal memory. As we all know, it has 32 gigs of flash memory built on board, and it's modular, which means we all kind of believe there's an upgrade path at some point in the future. But of course, it's flash memory and it can go bad. So I was wondering, what happens if there's just no flash memory in the Switch? What will it do? So let me show you real quick. This is the, the Switch that I usually use. It's on, it works and I haven't taken the flash memory out or anything, but I did run across something kind of interesting when I took it out, which I'll show you here. It may even uh, really answer some questions to people who have these randomly bricked systems. You know how they go bad, uh, where occasionally you'll get one that just looks like it has no power at all. It's weird, right? No power. Uh, anyway, I figure I'll show you guys what happens, because it's kind of interesting, what happens when there's no flash memory on here, when it's completely unplugged. So let me turn this guy back off now that you see it works, and I'll bring you around here and we'll see what happens. All right, so here is the switch. Um, I do still have it on, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn this guy off. So let's go ahead and turn him completely off. Um, there we go. There we go, and off. All right, so it's off now. Um, let's flip it back over. Obviously our memory is here. That is our flash memory and it's modular so we can completely remove it. I also wanna point out something very interesting. There is a completely empty slot right below that. And I have this theory that that might be a spot that they are going to use in the future for expanded memory. Just a theory, I can't confirm it. But it's very interesting that there is a completely unpopulated socket right below the memory, almost like it's like in a perfect spot for it in the future, for future revisions. Everything on this board is done with purpose. It's very odd that they would just randomly leave that there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so here we go with the memory. It is completely uh, off right now. I'm, what I'm gonna do now is pop this off very easily. Comes right off, no problems. I'm actually going to now separate it, oh, there we go, from the board and leave it right over there, completely off. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and you're gonna know something right away. Holding it down, holding it down. Nothing's happening. Nothing at all is happening. And this is something I found out pretty quick. See, what's going on here is, I believe this chip actually completes the circuit for the, the entire system. And it ha it's a fail safe, I think they implemented, so that without flash memory, it will it will act dead. It'll basically play dead, it won't work. And what, be, what becomes really interesting here is if I now replace it, just how it is now, so I take this guy, we pop it back in, so you clip it in like that, completely down, now you would think if I flip it over and try to turn it on because it's complete now, it would turn on, but it doesn't. It's completely off still, it won't turn back on. So at this point, it appears to be bricked, right? Like I just bricked the system completely. So yes, technically it is bricked, but what I noticed is if you remove power from the circuit completely, specifically by obviously unplugging the battery, so you pop the battery out like this, generally you hold the power button down to help remove any excess power that may be floating around in there. Now we set it back down. We'll pop the battery right back in like that. We flip it around and we go to power it on. There it is, it's back on. So what is happening here exactly? Well, more than likely there's some kind of fail safe in so that if there is no memory module installed, it will just not turn on because it completes more than likely the power circuit in some way. So this is just a fail safe they implemented, but th what this means is if the flash memory more than likely dies or shorts or something, and it's no longer accessible or can't complete a circuit, the system will appear just dead. Like it'll just completely appear like it's bricked or it just won't turn on. And that's an interesting thing because there have been people who have reported that, hey, my switch just doesn't power on, there's no power. More than likely, your flash chip has died. Luckily it's modular so they can change it, but of course you have to send it, get it back. And I do think it's still interesting that those flash chips are modular. It's very interesting, but that seems to be what happens if there is no flash memory installed. It's very interesting, there's just no power. Uh, keep in mind also that unpopulated socket right there below the flash memory, maybe an upgrade path, I guess we'll see in future revisions. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you next time.